Hi everyone, it's your cat for Eula Updates. A Journey to Love started out strong when it first aired, but its recent finale will leave you crying over the unexpectedly sad ending with couples torn apart and the Liu Dao Tang brothers, which was one of the best things about the drama, all dead. The show's Douban rating even dropped from 7.5 down to 6.6. Tian Zhao was the first to go, giving up his life to save the king. Then it was Sun Lang who died hoping he could hold a furry pet one more time. Yuan Lu literally dies of exhaustion in the arms of the princess, to think he would have lived if Ning Yuan Zhou had just seen him. Yu Shu San, the flirtatious player who turned out to be a devoted soul, sends Chu Yue to safety and faces his final battle blind and bombed to death. Ning Yuan Zhou also gets a heroic death, leaving Ru Yi to assassinate the enemy king alone. It turns out to be a suicide mission, and the death count is even greater if you include the baddies, the emperor who finally acted like one, or even Deng Hui who turned out to be not so bad after all. From a certain point of view, it seems reasonable that people would die in a war. It also highlights the heroism of these individuals willing to give their life for the greater good. However, some feel the ending forcibly killed everyone. There were also complaints that the characters don't make sense anymore. Ru Yi wouldn't end her life over a man. She manages to kill her targets and sets off a bomb while saying it's lonely to live in a world without Yuan Zhou. Some say Li Tongguang also broke character. He was so obsessed with the heroine that he even drugs her during their wedding. But after making peace with Ning Yuan Zhou, he's able to move on and casually addresses his former rival as his teacher's husband. Many also assumed the story would have a happy ending, so the joke is that the ensemble cast ended up having a happy reunion in death. The princess, who's grown into a force to be reckoned with, enters a marriage alliance with Li Tongguang, becoming the couple you didn't expect. Chu Yue becomes the female ruler of Sha Xi. About a decade later, she meets a boy named Ning Shisan who has a sister named Ren Lu. Their surnames imply that the main couple survived, and even named their kids after their fallen comrades. But then again, it might just be her imagination.